Hello there, welcome to another video. My name is Kevin and I have a simple yet kind of complex question for you. Do you like free money? Well, I shouldn't say free money, you like free money? Free money. <laughs> Uh, because yesterday was March 17th, which to many, many Americans was stimulus day. So a lot of people yesterday had a nice little deposit from the IRS in their account. Uh, for a lot of people, it was 1400 or, you know, something in between. I'm not exactly sure what the cutoffs were. I did not look it up because I am eligible for the full amount. So why should I care? So you should like free money. Everyone likes free money, free money. More on why it's kind of free money later on in the video. So stay tuned. Anyways, so the first thing you should be doing is your stimulus check. And this kind of goes without saying, it's a little bit obvious, but any credit card debt or any high interest debt that you might have, as well as overdue bills, you should pay those off. Get those taken care of, get them off your account, whatever you have to do, just any, any balance that's due, pay it. Obviously, this isn't the most glamorous thing to be doing with your stimulus money, but it is the most responsible thing, which is why it's the first thing you should be doing with the money. And sticking with that theme of lack of glamour, the second thing you should do if you don't have any overdue bills or anything like that is to uh, rebuild your emergency fund. It's very likely that in the last 12 months, which have sucked, by the way, that you may have tapped into it, or uh, if you don't have one, maybe you know start building one up. But Re-establishing that emergency fund is, again, not a very glamorous thing, but it's very responsible to do. It is just going to help cushion you a little bit more in the event that, say, you go back to work, but then something else happens, and all of a sudden everyone has to go back into quarantine again. But, you know, just setting this money aside for savings, if, uh, you know, something were to come up, that's, again, the most responsible thing to do other than paying off high interest debt, which is why it's the second thing on this list. Someone getting pulled over. Might be able to might be able to see the cops in the in the camera, I'm not sure. Moving on! Now the third thing that you should be doing with this money, assuming that you don't have any any other place that should be going, you've got your debts paid, you've got your emergency fund established, good for you, is to invest it for retirement. That's the best place for this to go. It's not necessarily where the government wants it to go. They want you to stimulate the economy or whatever, but it's really the best place it should go. And there is a specific reason why this is the best place for it. Because if you're like me and don't make big, big money, you are most likely eligible for a Roth IRA. Now, what is a Roth IRA? Hmm. Without going into too much detail here, I'm going to break it down very simply. So a Roth IRA is an investment an investment uh, vehicle, if you will, uh, that is used with post-tax money, as in money that has already been taxed, the government's taken their cut of it and we're moving on, and you can use it for whatever you like. So the benefit of putting in post-tax money for a Roth IRA is that anything that you earn in that investment fund is totally tax-free. Uh, all gains that accumulate in the Roth IRA when you go to retire and you start withdrawing those funds, you will not be taxed on them. So you take out $1,000, you get $1,000. The government can't take any more of that from you. So in comes the stimulus check. Now what's the unique thing about the stimulus check? The money is not being taxed. So you're like avoiding taxes on two different fronts here. It's not being taxed when you get it, like it normally would if it were say your paycheck or something like that. And any capital gains that you earn in the Roth IRA are not being taxed either. So it's free, free money, it's free money. We like free money, everyone likes free money. Remember that question I asked at the beginning of the video, do you like free money? We all like free money, so get your free money in a Roth IRA. And also important to note too about the Roth IRA, if at any point you would really do would really do if at any point you actually would need that money the stimulus check that you deposited into it you can take that out at any time as well the only thing is that you can't take out any gains that you've gotten from your investments out of the Roth IRA so if you put in five thousand dollars over the course of the next year and that five thousand turns into ten thousand dollars you can only take out that five thousand dollars that you originally put in you cannot touch the other five thousand so it's not like you go be like, oh, I've got $10,000 in my Roth IRA and uh, I can take that out and put you know, a down payment on a car. You can't take out the full 10,000. You can only take out what you originally contributed. Okay, so the fourth thing that you should do with your stimulus check, this one's for the ones, <laughs> this one's for the people who did not like those first three of not spending it on things. You know who you are. You know that you're not going to invest this money. 
and if you've made it this far, you probably don't even want to watch me talk about this anymore, but uh, this, this is uh, basically how to spend the money, and that would be spend smart. Spend the money in a smart way. So say there's an item that you've been wanting to buy that you like have been putting off because reasons. Go get your, go treat yourself, go get that thing. Now my advice if I was not planning on investing this stimulus check would be to take that money and put it towards something that you will never forget. So I wouldn't buy anything, like I wouldn't go and get like a new wardrobe or something. Instead, I would take that money and maybe put it towards a trip or something like that after the pandemic is over. Something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. Something fun, something that is, uh, you know, something that you, you won't be able to get sick of or something that won't break like a, like a new phone or something like that. Get yourself some great memories with your stimulus check. That's a smart way to spend your stimulus check if you're not using it for other reasons like I talked about before. Now this fifth way of using your stimulus money is again another kind of like free money thing but not really and that would be to use it for some sort of home improvement or some sort of renovation for your house. You know, if you're the type of person like me that bought a house in 2020 because of the insanely low interest rates, it might be a good idea to put some of this money towards, you know, maybe updating an old appliance or remodeling one of the rooms in your home. A lot of people have been staying at home a lot in 2020, so you may have noticed, you know, things that have been in disarray in your home or, you know, because you're there a lot more, there's more likely wear and tear going on, especially if you have children. So it might be a good idea to put this money towards some sort of home improvement project. Plus the free money part of it, if you put it towards a home improvement project and you're planning on selling the house in the next couple of years or something like that, this might actually be a good way to increase the value of the home later on. So say you buy a new water heater or something like that, those aren't cheap to you know, buy and install. So it might actually be a really good idea to do that because then whomever you're selling it to, you know, will have to you know pay a little bit more for the house because you did make that uh, renovation. You know, updating those types of things can uh, you know be of great benefit now because you get to use them, but also later on when you try and sell the house and you can you know tack a little bit more onto the sale price. Yeah, those in my opinion are some of the best ways to use your stimulus checks. Spend wisely, everybody, and I will see you next time.